All right, of Mokbet for the episode of Carnival Trades. Today is Thursday, September 21st, 2023. If you're not done so already, please give the video a thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Come find me on carnivaltrades.com for swing trading alerts and analysis. Anyways, let's get into it today. So, markets another downdraft here. So, Spider's down one point or one and a quarter. Triple Q's down one and a half. Um, Dow down 64 basis points and the Russell down 1.1 um, continuing lower through that head and shoulder pattern so markets are on the downdraft here we do have the Bank of Japan tonight so that um, you know policy decision will come out tonight again last time we had kind of that was that marked the top there um, could they come in with a screw job squeeze tomorrow um, you can't rule it out but I my guess is if this was gonna happen um, they, we would have started bidding up by one to two o'clock in the afternoon. You can see we, um, if you caught the, the short I did this morning, I said we should get down to 43.50 and that might be a little bit of support. It was, we kind of, you know, tagged it there, went sideways, tried to rally up. And if you look at the 15 minute, I use the 10 minute, but the 15 here, see 20 MA rejection, right? So not the most inspiring bounce. We should close uh, at or near the lows of the day here. Um, so my guess is, you know, at this point, assuming nothing happens, any fireworks go off before the end of the day, um, we close at the lows of the day here, we should gap down tomorrow. Now it remains to be seen how we will close tomorrow. But the key levels, obviously, we broke through this green bar, we closed below it yesterday, that's a failure. Um, if somehow, I mean, it would be a massive move, but um, if somehow we rally up tomorrow, the big level that I care about is 44.15. So really 44.14.98, that's gonna be this weekly green bar low. And you know what, let's actually move this right now just so we've got it there. So right in that area, or actually not that area, that exact to the penny, it's gotta be to the penny there. Um, but that area, um, and then the bigger level, let's get rid of this for now. And we're gonna go right here. So 44, 35, 31. So let's put that in there. That's a big level. You close below that on a weekly close, Friday close, um, that opens up the door for a lot more downside. Doesn't mean it'll happen in a straight line. There'll be bounces, um, but that is a big level. So that's the August lows and bulls got to defend that tomorrow. If we bust through that, I mean, you've got this trend line in the 200 MA, but um, you know, those will be obviously pr preliminary levels to look at. I've also got a few other levels worked out, which I'll be sharing with members after the bell today. Um, but in any case, something to watch. That's really all I care about at this point, honestly, um, is tomorrow's close. If we look at the ES here, you know, you're, there's your level for tomorrow, that August low. We also have the gap fill there at 4,300. So that could be an area that needs to get tested. Again, it's, they never filled that. We just kept rallying right throughout the summer. Um, and uh, obviously we filled the previous contract gap, but there is 4,300. And then of course you have the 200 MA there, but SPX, gamma squeezing down here. Um, we're through that 4,350 level. We'll see, maybe they maybe they pin, maybe they want 4,300 tomorrow. Um, anything can happen with the BOJ tomorrow, or overnight rather, Vixie getting a bid. Um, a lot of things coming in. Take a look at NVIDIA. Um, testing the 100 day. Look at this trend line, guys. We've been talking about this for a long time. We finally got tested it the other day. One, two inside days and then outside down today. Again, still have the 100. And again, this pivot here is important, but covering this because it's a market leader, it's very important. Um, Tesla even coming in a little bit, losing that green bar low. It is into this little necktie, so that's holding up okay for now. But again, weak pattern there. Um, breaking below that level. Apple, again, talked about this. Down move. Kind of make a case here that this is a bear flag. So watch these. Watch that pattern there. Um, for the triple Qs. Again, we're into this trend line. We did gap into the 100 MA and it almost looked like, you know, we had that kind of abandoned baby set up where you gap down and you kind of finish with a doji. And then we can gap and go tomorrow, but doesn't look like they're saving it right now. In fact, we're actually slipping even further. So we'll see what we get tomorrow. Um, again, there's your level on the queues. Weekly close below that. Uh, you know, and I said this all throughout the summer. I said, look, we're not building supports. So when this comes down, 
you know, you could look at a 50% FIB. That's not out of the question. Like we didn't build any weekly support there. But again, watch that 20 week, this trend line. And then of course that low, those will be levels that will be in play tomorrow. Russell 2000 um, probably wants that gap there. It did bounce a little bit today, but look at dead cap, just sideways. Um, so again, there's a gap there at 175. 65, we'll watch for that at some point here, but that is a confirmed break of a head and shoulder pattern. And if we do a target on that, uh, again, there's a lot of support right here. So it doesn't mean it's gonna go down in a straight line. But if you do a target on this, I mean, it's significantly lower. So you gotta go to a weekly here and that basically takes you down to the lows. So keep an eye on that with the Russell Diamond breaking below this area, finally out of this little range here. Again, got to take out that pivot. If you do, um, then the Dow is in a lot more trouble. But again, it's holding up the best out of the four indices, which makes sense when there's a risk off. Anyways, let's get over the semis. Um, SMH down almost 2%. What have I been beating beating down for the last three, four months? Look, look at the air pocket, right? So big air pocket, there's your gap. This trend line is now sliced. Um, this pivot is now sliced. Again, can they save it tomorrow? We'll see. They're going to have to because um, we, we do not want a weekly close below this. It takes you down to 129, 130. So semi-soft Broadcom, there was news. Um, Google mulling, you know, backing out of the chip deal. It did come decently off the lows. We don't really care about the news, but charts telling us that um, semis are in trouble. IGV coming down as well. That still has a lot of support at 340. Um, and, you know, even below that 335, right into this trend line here, 100 period moving average. So IGV is still a strong sector. It did put in a lower high, though. So just be aware of that little possible M top, too. So, you know, keep that on your radar as well. But um, cloud coming in. Uh, transports, red on the day. I don't like this pattern. They're holding up OK. FedEx reported earnings. And the market's liking that. So good bid there for FedEx, although it did come off the highs. But that is kind of muting some of this downside here for the transports. You know, look at UPS. This is a dog here um, flirting with 52 week lows again. So transports in a lot of trouble. Um, I do think the jets, however, are kind of interesting right in the 17 handle for a quick bounce. Could be something to keep an eye on. Um, very, very beaten down here, uh, especially if oil tops out. But anyways, transports here, weak, weak sauce. Um, still looking for 14.8 now at this point. Um, let's get over to rates. Obviously, the story of the day. So let's get our chart up. There we go. Um, we're going to look at the two-year first, as always. That's actually red. So we're seeing the long end kind of come, um, kind of fix itself a little bit. Um, not necessarily in the best way. You see the three-month, ten-year only. Uh, inverted by 100 basis points, 5s, 30s, 10s, and 30s. 2, 10, still very inverted. Um, but the long end of the yield curves coming up, short end coming down, that's not the worst thing, um, at least right now. I still think this gets up there. Again, pattern is still very good. 5-year, a little bit of a pullback there off, the, off that high, but 10-year, look how strong. Um, it's not that far from you know 5%, really. And the 30-year, also big power move. So again, talked about this ad nauseum lately, but this is not a bear pattern here on yields and they are pushing higher, holding up really well. Um, XHB through this trend line, you can call it a head and shoulders. I don't love this left shoulder, but um, you know we did break that trend line. There is still a lot of support at 75 with this trend line here. Um, if we get through that 70 and 72, that's gonna be your big level there, right there. That's where we broke out of this little pocket right here if we break through this trend line. But XHB, again, watch this too. Watch these two green bars. We close below that on the weekly. We probably get down there. So XHB coming as well, finally. Um, VNQ, big dump, down 3% here. Could this be telling us something about commercial real estate? HYG, uh-oh, right, JNK. Uh, what's the other one? LQD. These guys never, you know, I beat it, you know, beat this down too. All right. Like JNK, if this is a new bull market, uh, this should be rallying with the NASDAQ. It's not right. There's talk about 
credit event. I know there's that word's been thrown around a lot. Maybe there's something to that. JNK is getting smoked. VNQ is getting smoked. Um, should pierce this trend line. We'll see if it if it gets support there. I've been looking at 78 for a while, but when you come down with volume and velocity, sometimes you can go through levels. XLF, good slice there. KBE rolling over. KRE rolling over. That still has support around 40 though. Um, XBD, big slice there. Stalling out at 490. I'd say this can get to 485 and then probably to 480. Um, but again, pretty good slice there in financials. Watch the financials. They tell you a lot about the market health. All right, crude here. Um, backing off a little bit, but actually still green on the futures. Um, this can still get up to 93, 94. I wouldn't rule that out, um, but that's all the upside I've got for it right now. Rotation two out of XLE. Down one and a quarter. Big move for XLE. There's a gap right here, 88, 50 MA. That should be daily chart support. If we get through that, um, nothing till really 85. But energy finally coming back in here a little bit, really across the board. Um, XOP down 1.15. OIH also backing off as well. CCJ coming in, although not a terrible candle. I still think that one's uh, 37.50. URNM pulling back as well. Additionally, Nat Gas getting hit right back into this trend line here again. And still just a giant, giant pattern here on the weekly. So taking its sweet time. Uh, that's just kind of the nature of this trade right now. Um, dollar index actually pulling back off the highs a little bit. But you guys know where this is going if you're following me. It still should get to 106, 106.50. Um, yeah, we kind of tagged this little area right here. May do some more backing and filling, but this looks strong right now. I don't see any problems. I don't have a sell signal. Another thing I want to talk about too, and we're going to look at this overnight. Um, if we can get this, let's flip back over here because I can get it on thinkorswim more easily. There we go. Um, this is a big deal, right? Pulling back um, today, but we peaked above this. Um, this is going to be the story tomorrow. Does this continue higher or do they defend the end? Again, something to keep an eye on. Anyways, gold here coming in. So no break above that wedge. We'll watch this. Um, could not confirm above that wedge. You tried twice. Um, it's now back inside of that. You break down, it's going to 19. Silver, decent day. Um, it's hanging in there. No problems. I don't have a bias on it right now. I still think it needs to go test 21. Um, but it's holding up right now. We'll leave it at that. Platinum also chopping around. Still think that needs to go lower. Palladium. Still needs to go lower and copper, pretty good slice there as well. Hammering on this little wedge here, good volume there coming off the lows. Still think that wants to go down to 340, um, but it did come off the lows there. And again, we'll leave it at that. Uh, Bitcoin here rolling over 50 MA rejection. The longer this base is here on the weekly, the more this turns into a bearish. I mean, it is a bearish inside bar, um, so be aware of that. But it looks like it's building a bear base. Anyways, um, yeah, market's flushing a little bit here. We got about 30 minutes left into the day. Yeah, we're not far off of this level here. So that's for, uh, 43.35. We're only six points away. Um, that's the level that's got to get defended tomorrow to give bulls a, like, a chance here. Because um, as it sits right now, you have a bear. If we close below this tomorrow, that's a confirmed bear break um, on the weekly time frame, which means that bears are in control on the weekly time frame. So watch that going into tomorrow. Um, but right now, pretty good dump. And um, it's all about the BOJ tonight. Again, I think if they were going to squeeze it up, it's just my prediction. Could always be wrong. But if they were going to squeeze it up, I think we would have come off the lows already. And uh, we would have finished near the highs of the day to give us that gap and go setup. Um, you know, I would think smart money, if they know something's coming, they're going to want to buy options. They're not just going to want to play it with futures. They're going to want to do it with options, which means they want to do it during market hours. And right now we're at the lows and looking like we are puking. So um, again, watch that weekly close. And of course, I will be there tomorrow to guide you guys in that. Anyways, guys, going to wrap up here. You guys take care. Come find me on ConvoTrades.com. I will talk to you guys all tomorrow.